After 60, the new reality, doctor's visits, doctor's visits. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. Doctor's visits. You know, as you all know, I'm very pro taking care of my body. I'm very meticulous um, in what I do for myself. I believe in, uh, for me personally, I don't suggest anything for anybody else, but I, I am very focused on a holistic approach to my body. And so I take great care of myself. Now, as y'all know, I'm 64 years old and I promote everything that's about great health. And a lot of my friends in my age group or older have told me, they said, you know, life is lived in between the doctor's visits when you pass 60. Well, I'm kind of one that doesn't go to the doctors very often and uh, only if I absolutely would need to. And so, um, but I got to thinking about what they talked about because I've talked to a lot of different ones. And this is the thing, no matter how great one takes care of their body, um, it's good to have good doctors in place if you ever need them. Hopefully you don't need them. Hopefully you just go there for your yearly checkup or whatever. But if in the event that you need a doctor, it's good that they're familiar with you and you're familiar with them and that you know that you've got a good doctor at hand because you know all doctors are not the same and so you wanna have a great doctor in place. And sometimes you don't wanna wait till you need one to go looking for one. And so I believe that a lot of people over 60 do frequent the doctor for various reasons. Sometimes parts wear out, sometimes, you know, things happen. You know, no matter how well we take care of ourselves, no matter who you are, there can be a need for a doctor at some point. And the right doctor is so important. And it's so important that we always have an advocate for us, a qualified advocate and to be our own best advocate as well. I've talked a lot about having an advocate and being your own advocate. And sometimes it's a little more challenging when you are your own advocate, if you're in a weakened position of any kind. And that's why it's important to have a secondary advocate to yourself that you can rely on, that if nothing else, they're there for you because often having another person in the room or nearby often gets a different kind and different level of treatment. And, but either way, being your own best advocate, writing everything down before you go to the doctors, because we have a very limited time with a doctor, so we don't want to forget things. And so write it down, make sure you cross it all off before they leave the room. And, you know, do your research before you go in and put down whatever issues or symptoms or anything like that before you go. So that way um, you're presenting all the, the information to the doctor up front, in my opinion. And so, yes, I think that no matter how well you take care of yourself over the age of 60, um, it is important to have a good doctor in place. And even though I'm one not to like to go to doctors or I'm one not to go to doctors, I have really recently started to think about the importance of having more familiarity with my doctors and making sure that they're familiar with me in the event that I hope I never need them, okay? But I think it's really good. So a lot of my friends go to doctors regularly and I think that's a very common thing. Over the age of 60, it's kind of a new reality. That doesn't necessarily mean you're sick or like you're a complainer or anything like that. It just means that sometimes staying in touch with your doctor um, and, and, and having a great one in place is a benefit and is an asset to our lives over the age of 60. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I do hope you like share, subscribe to all five channels. Links are pinned to the top of the comment section below, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.